Good afternoon from beautiful Brian Head Canyon and Skier Villa area. Pear and I are just having a wonderful time visiting the beauty and grace of Bryce Canyon and all the canyons that are available as national parks. Would you like to say something to the group, dear? We are having an awesome, having time. An awesome time. It has been snowing has a little, snowing but not little, out, but in, the not out in the canyons. Just a pair on the ski hill. So we are happy about so that. Happy about that. Back, to Back to you there. We have the Tao of Earth with us here today to talk to you about all the beauty of light wave dreaming and how to align your dreams in ways that work with you rather than give you strife or concern or fear about your life ahead. Dreaming is a stream. If you can imagine a light stream that runs along the landscape and along the places that you like to visit or reside within. It's like a river that flows in and out and around and all over the place in what's called ubiquitous light. We have the most amazing experience of seeing a light river flowing down the road as we drove towards the Brian Head area. We were out in the middle of the desert, and there wasn't much out there but cactus. However, in the energy systems of light in that region, it was just a giant lake and river. And as Pear drove further, the light was so bright that I could barely see more than maybe four blocks down the highway because what was at the end of that was a big light gate that was open and providing too many amazing experiences for the dreams of the people here and there in this reality of ours. I want to talk to you about light rivers because there are light rivers and lakes near each of you, but you need to start to direct a light river into your dream stream. And so there are angels, there are archangels, four of them that are joining you today along with the Tao of Earth. They're going to redirect a light stream or light river towards your dream stream. Now dreaming is a stream and you might think you and you might not think of it that way because you flow through your day. You come and you go, you go here and there with each that you may know, but it is a stream. It flows over you and cascades over you in beauty, grace, peace, and honor. And in the joy of what you're trying to create. The more light that is present in the dream stream of you, the better the dream aligns for all the things you would like to manifest in this life of yours. Sometimes dream streams of light go elsewhere. And then those are days that are a little denser or darker and things don't quite work out. As Serena has had some of those up here, she's built her salad dressing all over the counter and she had accidentally made a mess one day when the electricity went out here in the property. Her salad got filled with water from the sink somehow and was a mess. 
and she had to throw it out. She's going, wow, this is weird. I don't usually have this kind of misalignment dream. What's going on? Well, on those days that she had problems, the dream stream in the area had motioned in a different direction, and she, she couldn't tap into it and pull it over to her to, to keep her dream going in the direction that she wanted to. So when things don't quite work out being outside of the dream stream, it is often the cause of that. And that can be little misdemeanors. But of course, you don't want to get in an accident ever. So we suggest that when you're out on the road or you have to go for public transports, such as trains or planes or automobiles that you rent, to make sure you bring a dream stream towards you to embellish the car. You wrap it around the car or the train or the plane so that the dream stream is delightful for you and also safe. You also want to wrap a dream stream of light from a local river or lake around your home and around your workplace. And as you go out in your world, you call it to you as you shop or play or do whatever you wish to. The more light that you can have in your dream stream, the more likely you are to create harmonizing experiences with others and a harmonizing stage play and the light will engage your fate. Now, this is important for you to understand that the light dream stream causes your fate to come up and begin to co-create the dreams for your future with your Tao and Tao. The fate is held within the subtle body that surrounds you. So as the light organza surrounds the subtle body, it, it will align your fate. Fate is an interesting topic all of its own because your fate comes from your archetype that says you can do this or that or this or that. But the more light you apply, the more fate keys open to give you the possibility of doing something else, something new, or something different that you haven't thought of. Maybe in the career possibility of you or the romance possibility of you. For those of you seeking partners for partnership of twins, then the organza needs to swirl into a part of the fate that has to do with partnership. Fate aligns in different places in each subtle body, so I can't say, well, in your chest area is the place for your twin dreaming if you're seeking a twin flame. So if you put more light in that part of your subtle body, that part of your dream will open up so, so you can create it. But it doesn't really work quite that way. More likely it works that the light swirls through the whole subtle body fate system and then begins to pour into those regions that you focus upon. 
Therefore, if you focus upon in your meditation time in the morning and at night upon dreaming for your twin flame, then as the light river comes in and the light stream comes in and swirls around your subtle body and the self of you, it triggers the fate to ignite. Then the light will pour into that region that says, well, I want to dream about my twin flame and find her or him in this life of mine. If you're focused on a new career, then as you bring the light stream in and you swirl it around your subtle body and you focus upon finding the right, right job for you and what are the possibilities? Well, they'll show up as possibilities of dreams to think about. Now, if you're a lucid dreamer, you're going to start to see what those possibilities are. If it's a career change that you're looking at, then the possibilities of your fate to go and do this or that or this or that may show up as waking lucid dreams. You can go into that dream like a play, a living play, and actually experience that somewhat live, and then decide if that's really something you would like to take from a possibility to a probability to a reality of yours. Now, there are many possibilities and some may harmonize with you and some may not as you choose for something like a new career or even a new partnership or a change in life where you're going to conclude a partnership or a place that you may want to move, okay? For the past few years ago, as Serana went round and round in circles, going, I need to move someplace, where is it? And all the possibilities would show up, and sometimes she and Pear would adventure to these places. Sometimes they just had a holiday and there they were. Pear and Esarana could see themselves living there. It was very delightful to see what might happen. But was it really the right possibility for them in that experience? In the end, their Dao and Tao say, no, that's not the right place for you. There are other possibilities, and eventually the possibility of Go Canyon, Arizona showed up. And they say, okay, that's right for you with the light gates there and the light rivers there and many things that are there for you. They turned it into a probability and soon Asarana and Pear will be moving there in a week after our webinar. Go Canyon will be their home in the United States. Alta is their home in Norway. Pear and Asarana intend to live six months of the year in Norway and the other six months in the US. So that is the way light wave dreaming is. 
and it's very frustrating sometimes to go into dreams. When Aserana was in Taos, New Mexico, wow, I could really live here. I like this place. I like the Hispanic people. I like the restaurants. I like the music and the salsa that shows up on the street festivals in the t summertime here. Wow, I could really like this and go into that possibility and see it there only to discover that it is not really for you. Your Dao and Tao don't choose this region for other circumstances that maybe you don't understand about your life or your life stream or your life form or the other things that need to align for you as a light wave mind dreamer. And so you can go into the possibilities and experience them and they're all there in your fate as a possibility. But it is only when it becomes a probability that the dream can actually unfold to become a physical reality. If you're dreaming about your partnership, you may go into the possibilities of nine or ten potential candidates of man or woman you could meet and be with and feel might be a twin flame circumstance, might be the right relationship for you. And it's only the one that's there that perhaps aligns the most that could become a probability. If you meet them, then the probability allows it to turn into something else where you could actually manifest that partnership. Therefore, that is true that for anything you choose to do. If you're looking for a job change, then you go into the possibility of it and it will show you step by step how to arrange that dream for yourself. If the possibility requires, requires a new education, it may point you to going back to school for a time. If it requires something else like a move, it may point you in that direction too. If it requires something else such as rearranging your resume and presenting yourself as qualified for a particular type of work, then that too may be a part of the possibility dreaming for a particular career change. Each human is a genetic package that resonates with certain things that you may or may not do in this life of yours. Sometimes there are many possibilities as you open your fate to go from one career into another and manifest it for yourself such that you make a major life change. Dreaming about the possibility is different from actualizing the probability. When the probability begins to actualize, 
then a whole different set of gears go off that bring about step by step what you need to do or realize within you to make that life career change. Now we'll explain it a little bit from Serrano's own experience of going from being a school teacher for 10 years and becoming a psychic and then later a spiritual teacher of ascension. She dreamt and dreamt about this teaching work of ascension and she envisioned workshops with people she didn't know. She found herself talking it out loud when she walked or soaked at a local hot spring that she enjoyed detoxifying in. She kept seeing this dream for becoming an ascension teacher. She was so sure that was going to unfold that she didn't even renew her teaching license that year. And just about the time that the license was going was to expire and she was told she wouldn't need it again. Suddenly, a group of students appeared, one in the Sacramento area of California and one up north near the hot springs of Calistoga. Suddenly, she had all these students in all these readings and all these things she wouldn't even imagine as her career suddenly shifted gears in light because she was all light wave mind child when she was born. And suddenly something else opened up for her to do and it was and it has continued ever since. In her Tao and Tao dreamt I'm sorry, her Tao and Tao dreamt that life change and dreamt everything about it, even her early workshops where she traveled to the US East Coast or to Hawaii or eventually towards Europe and Australia after Pear came into her life. So those types of changes are there for you if you wish to trigger that kind of major life insurgence that you need something new and different to be well in what you actualize this lifetime. Life changes come about usually in increments of one or two or three shifts at a time. Sometimes it can involve a new partnership. Sometimes it can cause you to move to a new region. Sometimes it can cause a whole new career to take flight because often light will rearrange your life on all aptitudes a possibility when you're not really expecting it. But when you flow with it, it all shows up and it all comes together. And suddenly you're in a new place to foster your dreams in a new direction you would have never imagined possible yesterday where you were living and what you were doing or whoever you were associating with. And so we speak to you about light wave change and many of you have gone through that kind of change. Some of you have found your twin flames and moved as of late 
and maybe started a new business or career and it is all a light wave mind dream for you to do so. Some of you are wanting change because you've been sitting in the same place for what seems like way too long. Perhaps you light wave mind dreamt a change in your ascension that brought you to a new place or in a new direction that you felt good in the moment of that change. But maybe it's been five or eight or ten years and it's time to go do something else. Or it's time to foster another change that you weren't expecting, such as a new partnership or a new home or something else that leads to that sense of harmony within you. We want to speak about dreams and harmony. That when dreams don't harmonize, you desire change, okay? If you feel deeply within yourself that you need to make a change, then the truth is that what you're doing or where you're living or who you are with is not harmonizing with you at this time. And then you must assess well what's the real problem. Is it what I'm doing? Is it where I'm living? Or is it the man or woman that I'm with? Or children that I'm with? Or a roommate that I'm with? What is the real thing in me that I need to change to find greater harmony within me? And then as you assess that within you, you assess it also with your Tao and Tao. Now, Asarana has been aware of a need to move for over two years because sometimes the change may show up and in particular for the feminine that tends to see the future way ahead of time and you know you need to make a change. She knew she needed to make a change but the actual change as to where she needed to move didn't really surface until six months before the actual move. That's often the timing of light wave motion. It's about a six month fostering of change. And so six months before the change, the actual possibility shifts into a probability of dream that then can step down and actually manifest into the physical. Once a dream is a probability, you can speed up the time frame from which it manifests by adding more and more light to it. Now I'm thinking of you, and I'm sorry, now I'm thinking of some of you who are like in sales and are trying to sell either real estate or something else to manifest your income on a commission level. Once the business prospect is a probability, if you add more and more light to it, it will speed up the time frame from which, from which the actual deal or sale may show up and be actually a viable physical truth. And if you keep adding light to it, it will ensure that the deal closes so you can collect your commission at the end of the sale. For those of you seeking new jobs, once the dream for a new job becomes a probability, you can keep adding more light to it to speed up the time frame between the time that 
you searched out into the world looking for that job and actually manifesting the workplace day to day. So light will speed up the timing of the fate to manifest into physicality. Now once a probability steps down, you will witness a basket. The basket is filled with eggs and the eggs are the probabilities of different dreams you're trying to manifest in your life stream. The eggs will have different color codes having to do with what it is that you, you are trying to manifest in this life of yours. Eggs that are pink are generally about care space. So those whole dream probabilities of finding new friends or kin or partnership are people to sway with that delight you and allow you to have fun enjoy in your life experience. So the pink eggs are about beautiful dreams of sway and care, both with your beloved, if you have a beloved, or with your friends, whoever they may be. Yellow eggs are about your own realization. There are always dreams about realization that are there in your basket. Generally, one realization egg opens up every month with a key issue you're trying to understand or interpret within your life. And after which you examine the quagmires of problems that are associated with that particular topic of your life experience. Then you finally work your way around to making peace within yourself about whatever that triggers. Generally, there's one realization egg per month for you to understand something more about yourself and find a new stance or a new playground of self to be better about that topic in relation to your own psyche, okay? Realization is about mending the psyche. And one day we will get more into that topic because the psyche is very wounded on this dimension and this plane. Many of you carry wounds at the heart that have to do with dejection or invalidation or loss of space and feeling wounded by others that get too close to you energetically or other conditions that need to be realized beyond so that you can be happier in your life happier in your associations, and happier in all the things that you are attempting to do in this world of you, of you. Now, there are also blue eggs. And blue eggs will range from light blue to dark blue to kind of a pastel blue. Pastel blue is about care space with people that need pastel blue care space. And we've written to you that care comes in two colors on this planet. One is pink to pale pink and one is pale blue. Some people prefer pale pink care and some people prefer pale blue care. So the pale blue egg is for the people that you associate it 
we associate with and sway within your dreaming of life that need care space and blue so you can sway together and love one another in the dance of the two, three, four, or five, or how, however you were associating in your life stream with others. There are also green eggs, and that has to do with harmonizing with nature. Some of you are very drawn to go take daily walks or bike rides around the lake or all these things we like to do out in nature. You always have green eggs that will bring about dreams where you can connect to nature and be beautiful with her in that moment that you choose to walk or swim or ride your bike or whatever it is that takes you out into the natural world tundra of Mother Earth. But understand that the natural world tundra is also the tundra of you because we are all things. Your archetype generates the body and all your energy systems in this dream of you and also natural world systems of dreaming that are related to nature on earth but are actually within you. So as you touch upon the lake or the river or the stream or the ocean or the mountains or the pine trees or the forest or the meadows and the flowers and all that we enjoy in nature that is also a part of you dreaming in you and life wave mind stream. Within that part of you may be messages that come from nature that tell you something more about the quagmires you may be working through in the realization of you. And that's a Tao Tao issue for you. The Tao often resides in your world, in your natural world, Tantra, and create space for you to go and be at peace with nature. So you may hear her more greatly about what it is you are working on in this particular time of realization of you. Light wave dreaming harmonize this best with the lavender ray. So you will find lavender eggs of harmony. Harmonizing dreams are very important in light stream today with the nature of electronic gadgetry. If you apply a lavender to your dream at work, at home, or with any condition in which you need to draw people to you, or go visit them or be with them for any length of time, it will have a tendency to bow out of the room the electronic energies that are gray to black and push them into the walls or away from the people that you are co-dreaming with to allow you more harmony in the stage play of you. And so that's what the lavender eggs are for. And when they crack, it is like a spill of color all over the dream of you, and we call that transfiguration. I'm going to explain transfiguration to you from a standpoint of painting your dreams the way that you would like them. Then I'm going to change the photo here.
So this this photo is one of these beautiful Kenyan pieces. Yes, so it's that one or these photos that she's taken with pair in their journeys to Canada or Australia or Yellowstone National Park in the U.S. or wherever they've gone. Often the canyon was speaking to her or the mountain was speaking to her about something else she was working on in that time of her life because this was her natural world tundra. But it was also Mother Earth that she was working with who was so outspoken about her own condition everywhere that she went. And here they were speaking to the need to be in the winter of yourself to prepare your dreams for the spring. There is a timing to life change. In the winter tundra of yourself, you prepare the dreams for the change for tomorrow. And there is a basket of change. So you have the basket of the rainbow of colors you may paint into your word about your life script or the things that you're dreaming day to day. Then there's another basket that has to do with life change, okay? And in the life change, you're in the winter tundra of you to prepare in the quietness of the coldness of everything what it is you were about to do in your future. And here you may find one egg, you may find two eggs, you may find three eggs for one, two, or three changes as you examine it within yourself. If you open it up, and I advise that you only do one at a time, as you go into meditation, see what changes lie ahead and what it may be about for you tomorrow. Generally, changes come in three scripts, one for partnership changes, second for physical move, and the third is a career change of some sort. Most of you have one life change ahead, if not more, and it may be time to examine that with your Tao and Tao by opening that egg and preparing it in the winter of you for that shift to come possibly within six months to two years. It just depends on divine on the divine timing of your life's of your own life script. Now with change and eggs there will be up to seven possibilities in each egg. So if it's a partnership change, there would be at least seven possibilities available to you as to how that script for change may unfold. Sometimes change involves first leaving a partner and then another change of finding a new partner. And that's not odd. In which case, you will find two eggs in your basket. One for a departure of a script that maybe isn't working for your spiritual path in this light wave dream of you. And a second egg that will open up as to the probabilities of all the other new partners you might meet that could be beautiful for you to sway with 
and maybe be a long-term commitment if that's what your Tao and Tao wish to dream with you. If it is a change of destination of where you are to live, because there is something about the light gates that are not aligning with your body where you are living. There will be one egg that would open up to a potential of 10 possibilities. However, the possibilities may be unprofitable in some cases because it would be very nice perhaps to move to Switzerland, but perhaps that's not really viable. It may be really beautiful to move to northern tundra of Canada, where the light is really beautiful, but maybe getting there is very difficult if you're not a Canadian citizen. Maybe Australia would be a much better place for your lightweight mindset, but moving there might not be possible. There will be probabilities in any move that really can't manifest. And so what happens is you look at them, you examine them, you dream them for a time and see what they might be. Then you have to let them go because actualizing it may simply just not be possible given who you are, what nation you reside in, or any other things that may or may not align. But sometimes there is the possibility for an immigration or relocation and that will show up along with step-by-step -step notions of how you could actually go about fostering that life change ahead. And if it is your truth and your Tao and Tao choose for it, then it becomes a probability that then that then aligns into an actualization of that experience in your live stream. We will use Asarana's life experience as an example. Although born an Asian with dark hair and brown eyes in this lifetime, for a long time and since childhood, she has had past lives and parallel lives memories of being blonde and living in the Scandinavian countries of Sweden, Norway, and Denmark. Then in August 2019, as Serana was guided to relocate to Norway to continue with her ascension writing and teaching in global service work to Mother Earth. She was living in Kauai at the time, but left everything behind as her ascension work with the enchanting and beautiful Hawaiian islands has been completed upon after spending 18 amazing years there. She landed in Oslo, Norway in mid-December 2019. Eventually, her Dao and Tao arranged for pair to meet as Serana, and the rest is history, as they say. The story of their twin flame love and adventures in Norway and other countries around the world has been documented in the Ascension Insights series, starting with Volume 5.
We also know of one lovely young man in our Dreamtime Ascension School, or DAS, that just got himself to Sydney, Australia. Tam Tam, like congratulations for manifesting that. It was really a dream you've been looking at a long time. It was your truth, and we bless you for taking yourself all the way to a new continent that is really beautiful for your realization and your health and a lot of other things that your Tao and Tao wished for you this lifetime. There are those possibilities always. And they open up to you and if it's right, it, it will all come together and unfold perhaps in a magical way you're not really anticipating in this mind of yours. The other type of dream for change can involve a career change. And here once again, when you open up the egg, you find upwards of 15 possibilities some of which may or may not actually be possible due to your age or your skills or things that have happened to you through time. But there are always those that can align. And sometimes they may require education, changes, or something you need to activate in your probabilities to bring about that other possibility of a major career change. In this time frame of human reality, there are many schools of many calibers of education, from spiritual schools to educational systems of universities or community colleges. There are many ways to create the probability of a career change through education. And, and in other time periods on Earth, when things were more indigenous or less organized, that really wasn't available to the human system. But as of today, it is, and it's very, very beautiful to realize that you can change the dream stream of your career by choosing for another educational system that maybe you weren't even imagining possible for yourself, but is there in your possibilities of career change in the egg basket of you. And so as you go through them and you find the one that aligns most with your heart, then there is the beauty and grace of finding something new and true to you that you can actually fulfill upon motioning towards in this dream, in this life stream of yours. We bless those of you that really desire a career change because it is very sacred to motion towards that which harmonizes with your light wave mindset and your light wave of dreaming of your fate and your truth in this time span of existence here upon earth. Everything is also a reality orientation of existence. So I'm going to put up another, another photo here.
There we go. This is Lake Mad McDonald. So this is Lake McDonald in Glacier National Park, where the mountain spoke to Asarana about many dreams. That the dreams were like the tundra, and in the mirror of the dreams were more possibilities than she ever thought possible for her life stream to take her in new directions. In this picture, there were actually six ranges that are shown, three on top and three mirrored in the lake. And they say, no, in the tundra of you, there are many, many possibilities than you ever imagined of what you might want to dream in this life of yours. And so dream all of them at first as possibilities and then see what aligns as the probability of where you may go next. Once it becomes a probability, then take action as you need to take action to bring about the life change that you are striving to dream in this mindset of yours, of a lightweight mindset dosa human. We've written about dosa mindset in light wave nine, psychology of Tao realization. In the possibilities, they are infinite in many ways, but life has to align with your fate. So in the center point of this picture is a fate marker and it's where the canyon opens in the lake, and that's the center point of the dream stream of her. This is a beautiful and graceful opportunity to understand center point and dream pop and dream probabilities and possibilities for you in your life. We wish for you many possibilities and many probabilities and sometimes they can occur and sometimes they can't. In the center point of you, you will know where you need to be that the dream stream actually works out. And so today, as you look at the probabilities and possibilities of what are there for you, pull yourself first into your center point. In your center point, your body will know what is really viable for you to choose for and go for in this life of yours. Sometimes dreams are confusing when you're outside of your center point. Like what direction should I really take in this dream stream of me? It's confusing only from the standpoint that when you're off center, you will think you need to be someplace other than where you are now. And that's very, very difficult to even imagine in this time span of ourselves. So remember as you review your possibilities and before you make them a probability that you move into the center point of you, and know where you need to be and where you're going in this live stream 
of yours. Now we're going to speak to Transfiguration and we'll go to another picture here. Now this is a beautiful meadow that was in Yellowstone with the wildflowers in bloom and lavender underneath the fence here. Pear and I were traveling and watching buffalo at the time we took this picture. And what this picture stated to Asarana was paint your dreams beautiful and that's what Transfiguration is. So as you dream stream and the river of white light shows up and you swirl it around your subtle bodies, you can open the egg rays of the different colors in your basket of lavender and blue and pink and yellow and peach. And we'll get into what the peach egg means in your basket of transfigurative dreaming. Peach is the color of knowing your truth. As you open the dream stream to your particular dream for any given day, much like a palette of paint, you can dip your brush into the color of lavender and add lavender to the dream stream of you which will harmonize others. You can add pink to the dream stream of you which will call care space to you of others. You can paint with pale blue to call another type of care space for those that like blue care rather than pink care. You can paint the yellow color to give you airstream of animation and expression so you can share of who you are with others. And you can paint your dream with peach to allow your truth to be shown to others so they may appreciate you for who you are and not something else or someone else that they thought they've known somewhere a long time ago or the time that you may remind them of. Transfigurative paint is always from the basket of you in the different egg colors that are possibilities that you may add to the day of you in the focus of your mind in a stance to transfigure your world beautiful. Now transfiguration also involves your own physiology meaning that you can transfigure your physiology beautiful in appearance in light. We talked a little bit about that in one of our earlier webinars. And there are paints that are personal that almost act like a glaze of sorts. As Serana used to be surprised because she could paint makeup on people and suddenly their lips were pink and their eyes had blue eyeshadow and their hair glistened in a golden ray and she goes, wow, I can transfigure them and myself with makeup without putting on anything at all. Isn't that interesting? Of course, your eyes have to see light 
in order to appreciate it. Some eyes have the ability to see light while other eyes haven't developed that capability in your light wave DNA as of yet. We invite you to choose for a light wave DNA that will provide rods and cones in the eyes to see light more graciously around people or in the dreams that you are dreaming in this life of yours. So as you transfigure your world, you will call forward the rays that you are most in need of in the dream that you are associating with others in the moment. So let's say you go to work and suddenly your boss is just really agitated and he's upset about something maybe from home or maybe in the work environment. You're really not sure. Well, as you paint the dream with lavender, he may start to calm down. And then as you paint the dream with a little bit of pale blue, if pale blue is more of his care space color, he may start to feel more cared for. Suddenly, he is more at peace and is able to express in his world what's going wrong for him so that you can't be there so that you can be there in a way that allows him to know that you support him with whatever he's going through. That's one way to use transfigurative glazes. Now, if you're about to go out to dinner with somebody you really care about and you want that care space to shine, then paint them with pink. Gold is a good additional color to add to pink because it causes it to flower or motion and swirls that are very magical if you're with a beloved but are also delightful if you're with somebody that's kin or soul family that you really care about in this dream stream of your life. If somebody is very mental and they really don't like care space in their association with you, then paint the dream in yellow and yellow gold. Yellow has a way of enhancing mental activity in the mind waves of you. But also, if you feel tired through the day or you feel lethargic, paint your dream in yellow and it will trigger your mind waves to search more. So suddenly you are more awake in your transfigurative glaze of what you are trying to dream in this day of yours. If for some reason you find yourself anxious, paint yourself with turquoise and blue like the ocean and calm yourself down and allow yourself to find peace within this dream of yours. If you find yourself depressed, paint yourself with orange, yellow and peach and it will enliven in your mind up so it won't feel so oppressed or so dinky about your own circumstance or hopeless about your own circumstance. Light can create hopelessness 
or different states of depression when it's not enlivened with the right colors that bring balance to your mind. Therefore, black, therefore assess for yourself and your light wave dream stream day to day. What colors do you need to be at peace, to be in harmony, to be in your center? Enjoy what you're doing and move forward with your expression of truth and whatever it is that you're attempting to do in this life of yours. That's a beautiful way to give to yourself something that brings about beautiful balance mindset in the dream stream of you. Some people need more blues and turquoises and greens to feel in harmony and in balance in their mind. Yet others need the orange and yellow rays more. Yet others need blue and lavender. Rays do work together to bring balance to your dreams. Also, you have to take into consideration the people that surround you in your dream and their ray and their ray needs to keep themselves in balance so that then you're balanced and they're balanced and the things you're trying to accomplish together. Or there are times of socialization or your times of sway and partnership. Ray color presence can be very, very needed to keep the intimacy and the spark of the divine union alive between the two. And so we'll speak a little bit more about that for the divine union of you and your beloved. The peach ray along with pink and lavender are the best three generally speaking to paint your dreams and that may create romantic interludes where you can share in heart space together in this dream stream of you. For friendship or kinship, harmony is actually the best focus. So the blues and the greens and perhaps lavender too are the best ways to paint your dream for harmonizing friendships or kinship that can warm your heart and make you feel good after an evening meal together or time shared on a walk or whatever you may choose to do together. Work can be a lively place with enough yellow and orange and with a little bit of pink sometimes. It adds a flavor of care space between the people that are joined for the day of work together and it and it will keep the conversion conversation lively. So it will keep the conversation lively. Now, humor is also a very important part of dreaming with others because when people are depressed, often they don't relate very well. But if you make them laugh, suddenly something else opens up in the dream for you to relate to that is beautiful to share with each other. Humor has different colors for different cultures. And over the years, Esserana discovered 
that Americans like yellow for humor, but Europeans like pink. It's kind of a crimson pink color. But if you go to South Africa, they prefer kind of a deep purple for humor. If you go to South America, they prefer a deep blue color for humor. And so she learned to paint all the colors of, of humor into the room of their Dreamtime events to get people laughing. And sometimes they got her jokes and sometimes they didn't when they were from other cultures. If you're from India, pale pink is preferred for humor. Therefore, each culture has a different color of humor that puts them in their tickle bone so they can laugh more about life rather than maybe dislike life or find themselves miserable on some level. As you find the right color for humor for you, you learn to paint your color in, you, you learn to paint your world in humor more and allow yourself to add that color to every dream so you lighten up. You know there is a term called enlightenment. And what is enlightenment? Is that you don't sit there in the heaviness of what you think you're processing in the quagmire of all of your stuff? Your emotional garbage or whatever it is that you were born with and live this life that you're trying to, to clear and process and heal and let go of. Then suddenly it all clears and you forgive it. You find compassion and all these things and then you get enlightened. And in the enlightenment, then often you find your humor about yourself and others and whatever it is, your predicament that is just kind of ironically weird in its own way too. So painting your world with humor is one way to find yourself more enlivened and enlightened rather than depressed and sad over the quagmires or issues or emotional traumas and dramas you're trying to heal from your past or your experiences in your life. Perhaps even in the now. And there is an active blessing too. As you transfigure your dreams and all these beautiful rays to change and soften and bring about different nuances in you or in others, there is the active blessing. As Serana learned this a long time ago, if you bless and bless and you bless and you bless and you bless, the circumstance, no matter how crude or rude or ugly or whatever is transpired inadvertently when maybe you weren't paying attention, but maybe the live stream wasn't there to give you a beautiful dream today. As you bless and then bless and bless, it calls light stream to you. 
and then the live stream changes the dream in a certain flick of, a, of the wand and all your transfigures and all your transfiguration you are trying to do and the rays the harmonize and beautifies and glorify the dreams you're trying to dream suddenly take hold or take flight and then it all works for you better for today. So blessing is an act of heart's way. We explain this to those of you that desire more beauty in your dreams of life. Dreams of beauty attract spirit. So the more you can dream in beauty, the more angels or other spirit echelons can step down and also support the dream that you are trying to dream with others. Thou also prefers beauty in dream. She tends to be standoffish when there isn't enough beauty in your dream. Beauty is a color that can often cascade in turquoise to green and when you bless you may find that your heart sway swings up and up and up and then more and more turquoise to green show up in the dream stream of you. As you bless and bless and bless then thou shows up to help realign things perhaps in your world or in the world of others. And of course, these are also colors of harmony because thou prefers harmony as she dreams with you to perhaps any other thought stream. In harmony, all the transfiguration kind of aligns around you along with the beauty of you to be expressed in this time period. Beauty is also very important to the angelic realm if they are to be present because they like your beauty. They are very keen, sensitive to their sight. Angels have very keen vision about light wave motion. If light wave motion is ugly or looking demonic or gargoyleish or whatever it is that may surround the human dream, they have a tendency to be very standoffish because they can be injured by such forces. As you transfigure your dream and all the rays and add enough light, the darkness recedes and is no longer there as a part of the dream. And as you transfigure yourself into beauty and grace and you're beautiful to behold in your light wave motion, then the angels come closer and help you more with the dream stream of what you're trying to foster in this day of yours. People respond also to the rays in this live stream of yours and they'll be attracted to, as you adventure out into your world and curious about you as you transfigure the restaurant into beauty and grace, or you transfigure the room that you're working in into beauty and grace, or you transfigure your home into beauty and grace before you cook a meal or invite your friends over for a dinner you're preparing. It tickles them. It makes them feel something unusual that they don't normally experience with most humans in this time period. 
Most humans have lost their information on transfiguration, and so today we want to open your light wave DNA archives on transfigurative knowing about how to paint your world, paint your dreams beautiful in this life dream of yours. Now we'll speak to you about futures too of beauty and grace, okay? Because transfiguration will also show you where the dreams will align better in beauty and grace for you when you're facing a major life change. So we'll use Asarana as an example of moving towards Arizona versus somewhere else that she might want to have lived. As she transfigured her dream in each region that she might have moved to, which included four, you could see in each one that it wasn't as beautiful or graceful as when she opened the egg for the dream of the Mesa region. And the Gold Canyon region of Arizona was where her transfigurative notions just absolutely flourished. So as you look at dream possibilities for a new career, a new partnership, or a new living place, you can use your transfigurative colors to see where they best align to be in harmony and resonance of you and flourish bigger and better or stronger in the flowering of you as a light wave synergy development of transfusion. That's one way to ascertain what direction works best for you in this life of yours. Transfiguration can also come all the way down to the physical. Asarana has written some ashram stories from Babaji where they talk about transfigurative action forming gems or jewelry or beautiful garments or sometimes appearing as art on cloth as painted in the mind as light is in everything. I mean, everything that you own is actually only light, even if it appears solid. We talked about light wave cleaning your home in an earlier webinar of ours. And you can also light wave paint yourself beautiful. Asarana had fun with this in some carpets and things that she added more turquoise to. And she kept adding the turquoise light until it actually got embedded in the fibers of the rug and is still there to this day. And that's transfiguration all the way down to the physical. Transfiguration was another means of instant manifestation in other time periods where in your mind you transfigure a garment or something you would like to create and step down into physicality. And you would see that garment so perhaps hanging on a line or something and you keep painting it and painting it and painting it and painting it down the dimensions until suddenly it appeared in your closet. Those gifted 
at that type of action may emerge more in your society ahead when the light gates are very succinct, allowing for transfiguration to actually come all the way down to the physical. And that is a beautiful thing to do in any jurisdiction if you can cause it in this live stream of yours. Sometimes gifts just appear that way as you dream them at night and may show up on your altar, a ring or a piece of mineral or something you're not expecting. That is transfigurative action that perhaps spirit gives you with because they want you to have something to be well or taking care of you and make sure that you're safe upon the physical plane. All the same, however you paint your reality, dreams are liquid light, whether they're physical or non-physical, you see. Every, everything once was light, and then it fell and fell and fell down the dimensions, becoming so slow in its light motion that it doesn't appear light at all. Although that's sad, the truth is it's still all light even if you think otherwise. If you could trigger the chair to transfigure enough by adding enough light, you could probably change its shape or its fab fabric or the design on the fabric too if you, want to, if you wanted to repaint it. Those things used to be more prevalent. In ashram scenarios where there were many focused on light wave motions, light wave mindset, and light wave may be artistic design than they are today. Transfiguring your world beautiful is one way that you can learn to be happier in your world. Transfiguring your world beautiful has many attrib attributes to it. So we're going to talk about beauty in light wave dreaming. The first attribute is care. Beauty and care are related. If there's no care, then there's no beauty. In today's world, the dreams are very sad. There's so little care out in the marketplace. There's very rarely care even in the office. And most families hardly care at all anymore. Without care, dreams cannot align in beauty. And that's very difficult for the doubt to witness about our current human society. It's like they're lost in their own harshness of electromagnetic gadgetry, the recollection to care or to love one another. This was more or less so in the last light cycle about 12 to 1400 years ago with indigenous societies. Care was a natural part of the way they related to one another and related to the land. 
The care allowed dreams of beauty to rise to their tribes that took care of them and provided for them. Sometimes it changed the weather so they could survive, survive the winter. Sometimes it brought in their food sources when they thought they were lacking. Sometimes it brought them rainbow magic of beautiful partnerships and new children that graced the tribe with joy as they ran around and played with the elders. There was beauty and grace in a simple lifestyle where care could motion as the dominant force from which beautiful dreams could be woven. Although none of you are indigenous and those societies have long come and gone, you can still dream and care in the beauty of an indigenous stature of reality if you choose for it. Care is the first attribute that you need to dream in beauty much as your indigenous ancestors did so long ago. The second attribute is fostering. Now, what fostering, fostering means is that you want to foster each person in the dream, meaning that everybody that is there, whether they're at your office experience, or work experience, or in your home life, is a value, has something to contribute, and is to be fostered in what they are here to do or give or share in their journey in this life. Each is important and to be validated, understood, listened to, honored, loved, and blessed regardless of who they are in this life of yours. There are always those that we often have, I'm going to call them stigmatism of re reality, differences in variables of speed of not understanding one another. Perhaps they irritate the crap out of you or you just rather not be around them and if you have to be around them and their family, then you see them in the holidays and they irritate you then or you see them at work every, every day and they irritate you then. There is something you can do in light that will allow your minds to align better so that you understand one another in another way that may make the exchange for more peaceful, beautiful, and graceful. The act of blessing is one way to foster that, which allows a lot more turquoise or green or green ray to show up in the dream between you and them, which harmonizes your heart space. But the other thing that you can do is simply acknowledge the beauty that you do witness within the individual that you maybe have strife with. Every human has attributes of things that they're gifted at, 
or talented at, or perhaps well, or are very talented at expressing. When you validate somebody for who they are and what they're good at and what you appreciate about them in your life, they light up, they can't help it. So much of our society fails to validate the gifts and talents that we do have as human beings. It's a very sad reality many of us have grown up in or lived with. If you turn it around and validate the one that you have perhaps the most difficulty with about what is beautiful about who they are suddenly care emerges between you and in the care whether it's pink or blue the dream changes to something else maybe you weren't expecting that could be quite magical or different for you to foster in this light way dreaming of the stage play of you. If the people that you are close to are some of them that are kin or depressed or having a very difficult time in their life, in those moments where you gather this way together, whether you're alone with others, with them, you can add more golden light to the circumstance so they find so they can find their hope again. You can speak to them about perhaps viewing the current issue of strife from another angle or speak to them about other future possibilities that they might strive for that will help to change the difficult circumstance that they're in in this moment or allow the cause of what is leading to the depression or the sense of hopelessness to, be, to begin to lift. The golden ray and blessing in the golden ray is one way to help shift the assemblage point of another so that they can see their world in a new way that helps open up their vision to a new possibility that they could dream that takes them in a new direction that makes them happier ahead. The golden ray is quite prevalent on earth because of the solar sun, which is a golden sun. As you bless in gold, the sun stream will join the light stream of the light lakes and light rivers near you and fill your dream with gold. Gold is one way to illuminate the vision of others that are introspecting over their life circumstance, those that are realizing. And you may have some friends of realization status or spiritual focus status. As you come together to share of your experience, and if you add the golden ray, it allows both of you to share of your own introspection in a unique way where you can honor one another's, one another's path and find the mutual compliments or understanding that you're seeking to gain in you or with them that may be useful to you in your motion towards creating soul family in this life of yours. 
family is a beautiful fostering, and yet many are unconscious and are not awakening in this cycle. Is roughly only 18% of the humans incarnate that are awakening this cycle. And the young ones may push the vantage point of that up to more like 50% in the next 100 years, which will create a much more enlightened society of light motion mindset and light motion capabilities and transfigurative capabilities that may take humanity in very different directions. Transfiguration is a gift of spirit also, and we want to speak about that too. We're going to change our picture here, here as we speak more about transfiguration. This is an egret. So this is an egret in a lake in Yellowstone that Asirana took a picture of quite a few many years ago. The, the egret said to her, Well, in the transfiguration of who you are and who you're becoming and where you're going within this life of yours, you find a new way and a new path that, that will open up to you in the dreams of your truth. Transfigure, transfiguring your way into life change is another way of looking at your dream stream for actualizing something new in your life. Transfiguring yourself into life change is one way to align the dream of the physical circumference of you for the shift in a new direction in this world of yours. So we're going to speak to you a little bit about transfiguring into change. Transfiguring into change is also a day-to-day -day event and we'll start there. Let's say you get up in the morning and you're going to work. You're going to transfigure yourself for work and you're going to fill your work dream with light. You're going to transfigure yourself in the beauty of your Tao for each that you're going to encounter in the workplace and everything that you were to do. Then you're going to paint your work world in a direction that allows it to transfigure into more harmony within the greens and the blues and the lavenders, perhaps if that's best for you. And you're going to transfigure yourself into an astute person that can relate to each individual in the office or each individual you're going to encounter in this given day. Every person has something that they can admire or appreciate in you. When you transfigure yourself to enhance the part of you that they admire or that they would care about, then the care's way between you and they will be greater. 
Now that sounds very strange, but in reality, transfiguration can allow you to be like a chameleon where you paint yourself one way for this person and you paint yourself this way for this person and you paint yourself this way for this person. Each one of them appreciate you and cares for you because in the window paint of their own life, they see something in you that they admire and that's transfiguration for personal relationships that flow well together. Now in a care space of the beloved and dreaming of your beloved, there is transfiguration of deep magic and beauty and attraction for this way and the romance and the joy that the two can come to find within each other and together. In the old days where transfigurative tantra was better understood, the man would paint the female in the most beautiful transfigurative cloth of what he would admire most in her face and her boudoir appearance. Similarly, she would transfigure him into what her eyes most admired and they allowed each other the right to paint one another beautiful in the eyes of themselves. Today, there's something else called disfiguration that occurs and sometimes people paint one another ugly. That's a sad circumstance because then in the ugliness there is not the appreciation or the care that sways as much because they see something in themselves or in the light wave motions around another that they don't care for. And so over time, it may be better to not allow others to transfigure you at all because you don't want to be disfigured by them in any experience in your life because it's disfiguration of people that often lead to difficult encounters in your day-to-day -day dreaming of your life. Let's say your boss has always shown you angst and you don't know what it is about you that he doesn't like. Well, it could be somebody in the office is disfiguring you in his eyes and painting you into something he dislikes. And in that case, your life streamed together and dreams don't flow well in harmony or peace in your experience of one another. This figuration is so common that more people disfigure each other or disfigure themselves than they do transfigure themselves into something beautiful. Often there are disfigurative palettes that have come to be in the light way dreaming of you. And today the plan planetary Tao wishes to remove these of, of each of you that perhaps have been disfigured in recent times in your life by your encounters by people who strive to make things ugly rather than beautiful in light wave motion or light wave dreaming in this time period. Take your power back 
to transfigure you and transfigure your world into beauty and grace and do not allow another to disfigure you or your dreams into something that could lead to strife or dislike. That's our best suggestion around transfiguration. Transfiguration into beauty will lead to merriment and on and humor and graceful moments where you can understand one another. There's also transfiguration over food. You can transfigure the food on your plate into beauty and grace and transfill it some so that it has some light it has more light and is easier for your body to digest, that it has more tastes and that delights. Some chefs are very gifted at transfiguring food into beauty of taste and light motion, and some are very gifted at disfiguring it to the point that it tastes bland or doesn't feel fulfilling or nurturing unto your body or mind or spirit. So make sure you go to those places or restaurants where the chefs transfigure food in beauty and not something else and learn to transfigure your food as you cook at home into beautiful rays that work well with your abdomen and work well with your taste buds and work well with your mind too and all that you're here to sway and do. Transfiguring food can enhance their smell or taste. It can enhance the beauty on the plate or the color of the vegetables. It can enhance the nutritional value that is received by the body and light. And it can lead to easy digestion and absorption of your nutrients so that the food is beautiful to your appetite. The best colors to transfigure food in are generally purple, which enhances the tartness, or I want to say the oxidation of your food, maybe, that it, that it erases it. So if you transfigure your food with a purple ray, it, it allows it to digest easier and break up by light. The green ray will add a certain kind of nutrient similar to greens unto your light wave motion of digestion. The green ray enhances nutrients that support the abdomen and digesting easier and the pink ray adds a sense of care for the vegetables in themselves, in which case they may begin to glow more as the vegetables feel cared for that you are cooking. When you add the pink ray, they open up the natural flavors that they would like to aerate in the film of themselves and it's really, of course, the smell that you taste more than the taste. You smell the food and if it smells wonderful, then it tastes good too. The last color that's good for food is gold. If you can add gold sparkles to everything, it will freshen it and liven it up on your plate. 
For those who are not vegetarian or vegan, if you are eating fish, if you transfuse the fish into golden light, it will aerate it of the smells that aren't always best in the flesh today. Sometimes flesh is quite sick that comes from the sea and if you transfuse it and bless it in gold, those smells will leave and the texture of the fish will change to be beautiful as you choose to ingest it and feed your body of the protein it may be in need of in this time of mindset development and light wave infusion. Dreaming food is a beautiful thing to foster as a gift to you from spirit and the, from the natural world to nourish your body and make sure to do it in beauty and grace each day so that what you feed the body is beautiful unto it as the temple of you. Now, light wave dreaming honors the temple of you and I am going to go back to our prose here. The temple of you is the sacredness of you. In the beauty of you, in the dreams of this life of yours. In the temple of you, you're in the center point of the stage play of you that is the centrifugal force of your dream. Now I'm going to talk about you being in the center of your dream rather than of center of your dream. Many people dream around others. You let your mother or your father or your boss or your wife or your or husband be the center of the dream that you dream with them rather than you being in the center of your own dream. I'm going to speak to what that does to you, okay? When you let somebody else be the center of the dream you dream, it pulls you up center in the truth of who you are and there is what is known as power. I mean in the live stream of dreaming of the human condition, there are those that are empowered and they usually take center stage and there are those that are unempowered and that's usually everybody else around them. And usually in any group circumstance, there's one that's empowered and takes center stage or perhaps two or three and everybody else plays a second cast character in the light wave dreaming of existence. Those that take a second place to everything rarely get to be honored for what they do or know. Rarely are they complimented or validated and they're just like the backdrop from which the ones that are the hands or take center stage can perform the dream for the group and all the beauty, light and delight and playing the role that they're trying to accomplish. Rarely do those types of dreams feel good to anybody else other than the one that's on center stage. And for yourself, as a light wave dreamer, 
and a self-realizing human, it's time to put you on center stage in any play that you engage with in the light wave dreaming with others. Now the one on center stage can be free to express themselves and that's why it's important to move yourself into that position to give yourself permission to express everything you might like to share about who you are rather than just listening to the other over and over again who holds that center stage position. The truth is, in the place of light, there can be many on center stage that all share of their truth. Over time, you learn to honor each that has something to express in the group that you sway with and allow yourself also to be center stage to express who you are in the dreams of your own life rather than subordinating to others or being in the silent position where you never really share from your heart what it is that you wish to in this life dream of yours. Being in the center of your stage play can be a big assemblage point shift if you are used to playing the non-center point role in any condition of your life. Whether it's with family or with work or with your partner or with your children or even with certain friends that are very vibrant and dominating and how they may relate to you. Generally, you recognize in your own family experiences when you were growing up who got to have center stage all the time and assert their will to express, leaving others silent or unable to express Sometimes it's the mother or the father. Sometimes it's one of the siblings that always has center stage and expresses themselves. Whoever it was, if you're naturally on the stage of yourself and are vibrant and expressive about who you are and what you would like to express, then you are the one that needs to learn to step aside and give permission to others to express themselves too. Therefore, those of you that are naturally center stage, your lesson in soul family dreaming is to allow others center stage too, so that they can express the fullness of the truth of who they are in addition to you. For others who tend to step aside and let others take center stage all the time, then you are the ones that are in need of asserting yourself into the center stage position to share of who you are and all that you know and all you wish to in the truth of you in the dance of soul family. There are colors that allow a change of the position of center stage for any group, and this will be kind of interesting for you to think about and maybe witness as you transfigure your dreams in different ways in any given day of your life. Usually the one that has center stage is in the peach ray and the ones in the background are in the blue, green, lavender, even pink or pale blue rays. So they all listen to the one in center stage who absorbs 
deposition of the picture and expresses themselves. What you can do as a transfigurist is take the person in center stage and color them in blue or green or lavender or another color and then color yourself into peach. Then take center stage yourself in expressing what you feel in the conversation of the group, expressing your truth in terms of what the group may be speaking to and allow that to come forward in this life of yours. So usually the one in center stage runs the pitch ray. Some cultures may be a little bit different and they may gravitate more towards the red ray rather than the pitch ray. Red is the one that is in power or in their truth or stands on stage. Red is also a color of rage and sometimes power in the old systems of sound. And we motion more towards pastels and light. Peaches is a better substitute for red for taking for taking center stage because it's a position of Tao truth peach. And Tao truth would say, well, I have a right to express my truth and so does each here in the room or those I'm dancing with through time as we share our stage play with one another of this life of ours. In the position of every dream, it is a will of possibility also. And over time, you will learn that in the dreams of you, you tend to take up a particular position against the nature of certain individuals in your life and those that may remind you of somebody somebody that made you cower or feel invalidated. If they show up in parallel in the position of power of center stage, you may find yourself cowering, cowering or feeling invalidated once again as the memory banks of you surface of how your mother or father made you feel through time as you grew up. And the best thing to do in that kind of experience is first of all, if you're feeling uncomfortable or anxious with another, is to harmonize yourself by painting yourself in the blue, green, turquoise rays. Then see again where you stand with this individual because perhaps you're just triggered by something ancient. And in reality, they don't mean to put you in that position at all. You're just triggered inside yourself and in transfiguring yourself in other ways, you can calm, calm down around what's been triggered in you and then perhaps be present to relate to them in a different place or from a different vantage point that then causes a different exchange than what might be the repeat of something that was there from your childhood. And so you can use your transfigurative rays to alter your experience like in the now 
wherever you are and whoever you're with. If you find yourself uncomfortable, you paint yourself beautiful and you paint your dreams beautiful and allow it to change in light wave motion. And that's what igniting the light of you and each and your dreams speaks to. Igniting the light is by saying, well, we, are, we all have a fragmented play of darkness that we grew up with and we dreamt over and over again this life of ourselves. I dreamt this difficult circumstance with my mother or father maybe in other relationships or partnerships that I've had and known. I dreamt this problem of a dysfunctional family sometimes in the work environment of the office. I dreamt this other experience of needing this experience. I'm sorry. I dreamt this other experience of difficulty with a friend when validated me and abandoned me. I dreamt all these difficulties again and again, and it's there in my memory banks that this is the way things have been, and I think that they have to be that way again in some kind of unconscious place of myself that says I can't dream, dream it any other way. The truth is that the truth is that's not true in light wave dreaming. You can paint your world in a different direction where the fragmentation or the strife of the past ceases to have an effect over the dreams of your world with each that you dance with now and ahead. You can paint it now and shift it immediately at the speed of light in dreaming and light waves synergy. And so I invite you to play with the colors of the pastel, pastels and paint your word and transfigurative keys and see how it changes your experience with others and especially perhaps with those that are sometimes difficult in this life of ours. As for your futures, paint your future beautiful. So I wish you to examine, sorry, so I wish you to imagine this future of yours that is to emerge in the coming three years. I want you to paint it beautiful now and then see what X pop up, up what X pop what X pop open in your basket of possibility that take you in a new direction that delights and causes you to find your truth and center point and the beauty of you in every dream you sway with others in this life of ours of yours. Where shall it take you in your tomorrow as you paint your future beautiful? Shall you move to a new destination that you love more than ever? Shall you find the partner that fills your heart and dreams with you in delight, peace, grace, and wonder? Shall you leave behind the dreams that make you feel sick or don't allow you to feel fulfilled within this heart of yours? Shall you create something beautiful that you delight in sharing with others that you understand something about? Shall you educate yourself with new information that triggers ancestral knowing that you can bring forward and share with others too? What is it that you would really, really like to do 
with this life of yours, this dream of yours, this stage play of you? Is it limited or are the possibilities endless? And what do you need to do in the assemblage point of you to let go of the hopelessness so you can open your basket in your eggs and see what else is available for you to dream in this life of yours. What is it about yourself in the quagmire of you that leads to a hopeless dance in which you don't believe there's any other possibility for you ahead about what you would about what you could do in this life of yours. What is it that you need to realize beyond within you that leads to a place where you feel stagnant about change towards something that really would make you beautiful in this future of yours? This is where we are going to leave this webinar because in this time period, of emerging light that is still darkness to illuminate and remove and eliminate in you. And it's sometimes the darkness within you that triggers you into gluttonous or hopelessness or an inability to envision something new for the stage play of you. As you learn to transfer your world into colors that are beautiful, the darkness and the glumness and the grimness can fade, and then your mind's eye can open up to the beautiful possibilities on what you might enjoy dreaming in this future of yours. And then if your Tao and Tao agreed, the possibility to move into a probability and you see your way into what actions you need to take in order to dream the dream that you see for your future that delights your heart and mind and spirit and everything about you. That's what we as Tao wish for each of you choosing to emerge into light wave motion to let go of the darkness and move into the light and dream your world beautiful with each that you dance with and see how the how that changes into another way of being that may be your ancient ancestors who dreamt in light recall and you don't and so we bless you with the infinite possibility of a new future that carries you forward in a new direction that loves and blesses and caresses and find yourself into a new place that fulfills and gratifies, makes you happy and makes you smile in this life of yours. We bless you always. Namaste.